Beneath Belize's blue waters lies a treasure more valuable than gold, the reef system. But this underwater paradise is dying. In just 50 years, live coral cover has plummeted from 33.8% to just 15%. Climate change, pollution, and human pressure are pushing this World Heritage Site towards collapse. Some of the challenges that we're facing in coral restoration include illegal fishing of herbivores, coastal development, and of course the impacts of climate change such as coral bleaching, which is why the restoration document that we're working on is looking at resiliency and not just restoration. The reef is over 200 kilometers long and it requires coordinated efforts all along that reef before reefs are to stand a chance. And the National Coral Reef Resilience Plan is built upon three core objectives that will guide sustainable reef management and conservation of the reef over the next decade. The first objective was to conduct a comprehensive analysis of our reef's current condition. We are surveying coral reefs all across Belize to identify um, their state, their current state. So those that are degraded, those that may be healthy still, um, and those that are resilient. You can't manage what you don't measure. The comprehensive assessment that went into the development of this resilience plan will provide the guideline from which every decision can be made. The second objective is to identify and prioritize restoration efforts where they'll have the greatest impact. What's more important than restoration is working to ensure that you maintain or you improve the health of your reefs, which will help to build their resilience and which means their ability to bounce back from negative impacts, especially global warming. Through collaborative workshops with marine managers and scientists, the plan pinpoints critical intervention zones using rigorous criteria. The next decade will determine whether Belize's reefs thrive or disappear. Thus, the 10-year resilience plan is crucial. We are creating a roadmap, clear targets for years 2, 5, and 10 with specific strategies, community involvement, and measurable indicators for success. The third objective is to transform analysis into action through a comprehensive 10-year resilience plan. This isn't just about what to do. It's about when, where, and how to do it. Belize's reefs right now are in a very critical stage and we need to take serious action and do more and come together and this plan is really going to be a solid roadmap to get us there. This resilience plan offers a blueprint for potential reef recovery, but success depends on sustained commitment and action. Three objectives, one vision, a resilient future for Belize's coral reefs, because systematic planning today creates thriving ecosystems tomorrow.